This is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. We are starting our live weekend workshop today. We're going to be looking at find uh, the row, the back sheet, etc. I am on my YouTube page. Um, just want to show you where I'm going to be posting this stuff so that you guys can get it and know it and uh, see what's coming up next. I do plan on doing these every other week. Uh, I'm going to pick a topic. Hopefully, there are topics that you like. Uh, if there is topics that you do like, make sure that you put them in the comments or put them in a uh, super chat, uh, basically just buy me coffee. So we are going to dig in. So uh, again, my everyday VBA, just search it on YouTube, go to my page, go to community, and you will find it there. So we, today, we are looking at, we're gonna do the following, uh, following um, code. So we're going to find the last row in a sheet, we are going to do that by using Excel up. We probably actually won't use Excel down. Um, that doesn't necessarily work super well. Um, then we've got current region, used range. Um, and then we're going to, it's easy to do this in a sheet, a little bit more difficult to do in a range, but I do wanna just kind of teach you guys a couple things on uh, really how to do this using a range. So that is the plan so we're going to go ahead and dig right in uh, we are going to if you hit alt f11 it will show uh, show up your vba um, window or your vbe visual basic editor and if we click on here we're going to go file uh, we're going to go add a module so now that we have this module open um, i do have a data set here that i'm going to show you kind of how all this, uh, this is a, it's kind of cool. You can actually go online and you can uh, get fake sets of data, which is actually kind of nice. Although the uh, company and the zip codes and um, I've never heard of some of these places. Uh, I've heard of Alabama. I've not heard of that. That looks like it's in, in uh, France maybe. Uh, anyway, if anyone listens, knows where that's at. Uh, yeah, give a shout out. So now that we've got our uh, module open, so we've clicked here, we're gonna create a sub. Find last row. So the first thing we've gotta do is we've gotta make sure that we're in the range. So um, this is pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and essentially one of the ways to do this, and I'm gonna just show you in Excel how, how this is done. So essentially one of the ways to do this is by code you actually hit control down um, and that will actually give you the last reason region now it doesn't work if there's an if there's a blank right so if there's a blank it's just going to go here so um, typically we don't use excel down we come down to a row that's way down here um, and we start there and we hit control up and that's all we that's all we're going to do via code uh, the other ways that you can do this is if you hit control a um, that's going to give you uh, what I call what's called the current region. Um, that is, uh, that's a really good way to do it. Um, and then the other one is Control Shift N, which essentially gives you the used range, which is less used but actually can be um, is actually useful to know. So we're going to go ahead and dig right in. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to find this row uh, by XL. Uh, up, so we're going to call this. Um, we're going to call this Excel up equals. So that we need to tell it where we're going to start. We're going to start in cells 100, comma one, and we're going to go to the end. We're going to do Excel up. Yeah, spell XL up. Ha, that's funny. And we're going to do row. And that should give us, um, and we can actually do this right in our immediate window, uh, and it will give us this code. So um, I like the immediate window because you can give it a quick line of code. It'll it'll kind of tell you what it is. Uh, you'll notice it gives you 25. We don't necessarily, usually when you're looking for the end, you want to add one because usually you're adding data to that. So we're going to add one to it. And so now we have um, XL up. Uh, which is uh, essentially uh, control shift. In this case, it's coming down here and it's going up. 
I do like that a lot. The other way to do that is Excel down. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'll do this quickly so we don't waste anyone's time. Excel down, put another in on it, and this would be cells one dot, I don't know if it's end. Maybe end won't work. I actually don't do this that much. Um, my preference is, My preference is actually using the, um, I actually most usually use the current region um, just based on the way that that's just a habit. I don't know if that's right, wrong or indifferent, but it is what it is. So there you go, same thing, XL down. Again, if we take something out here, our XL down, uh, do again, question mark. If you're asking the immediate window to return, um, return data, you do have to put a question mark. If you're actually, if you're asking it to like select something, you don't need a question mark. So again, that gives us 11. Uh, that's not necessarily exactly what we want. So we're gonna go and delete that. We are good to go. So that is two quick ways to find, um, to find the last region using XL up or XL down. The other ways to do this is you can use special cells. Um, so we're gonna call this special SP. Um, last row is equal to cells dot special cells. And you'll notice there's kind of a bunch one. Of, there's a bunch of them. And so essentially you're going to want to use last cell dot row. Um, and if you, if we run that in our immediate window, it's going to give us that number. We would just need to add one to it. Um, actually gives us, that's that's actually just the same as using use range. Um, so a, probably better, best practice to use uh, the the Excel up or X, Excel up is probably the best solution. Now this is the one that I almost always use um, and I use it all the time mostly because um, when, a lot of times when you're using large sets of data, large uh, it's typically best to take that whole data set and put it in an array. Um, and so usually the question behind the question of, uh, I'm trying to find something. Well, there's the question behind the question is I'm trying to find something and then I wanna insert some data after it, or I want to find, do like a VLOOKUP via code. Um, so those are all, those are all um, options, but essentially, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to find the last row using current region. Do love current region. It is probably one of my favorite things. Uh, we're going to call that CR end row. It's going to equal cells. Now you do need to start with a range. So we're going to start with range one, one. Call it current region. Can't spell. Uh, row. Um, rows dot count. That's actually a little bit more complicated because you're not necessarily counting those rows. Let's just check this to see if this works here. Um, at the very end, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take all these, the current, we're going to use each one, and we're actually going to paste them back to the find page. So kind of tie, kind of tie everything back together. Uh, hopefully here. So we're going to do current region rows count. Again, that gives you 25. Um, and again, on these, we need to add one uh, because typically we don't want the last row. We want the last row plus one. That is almost 90% of the time. Uh, maybe not always, but it can be that way. So that is your current region the way to do that by current region. Um, a quick call out, well, you can also do columns on these. Um, and so essentially, the really easy way to do this is instead of doing rows, you just do column. So it's gonna be row, you put column there, column there, column there. Um, now this would not be, the only difference with XL up and down, um, it does, XL left does not work, but XL right does. So uh, keep that in mind as you are enjoying your coding, enjoying coding. So. The next piece that we want to do is what do we do? Um, this is why Excel up works really well is a lot of times you'll have, you'll have data sets that start that don't start in a one. Now I highly, highly, highly recommend when you're building out um, any sort of uh, data set, if it's going to be consistent, 
um, it's easiest if you're going to be programming VBA, if that always starts in A1. It's just a, it's a best practice. It'll make your life significantly easier. But in this case, we don't have, um, in this case, we do not have, we don't start in A1. So now we've got to do some, do some kind of crazy stuff with, um, with ranges. So first thing that uh, my, my preference on ranges is I give them a name. So we're going to dim ng as range, and that's usually what I call range. And then we want to set a range. Now, the reason you have to do this is because a range is an object. And um, I don't know if you've seen my um, uh, videos on errors, but uh, essentially a range has cells within it. It's multidimensional. So it has mo more than one dimension. Um, and therefore, it anything that has more than one dimension goes from being a variable into being an object. And objects have to be set. So we're going to set this range to... And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to type in range. I'm going to type in range A4. Dot current region. And if we come down here, we're going, I'm going to show you what this will look like. If we come down here, we're going to go our range A4 dot current region dot select. And now you'll notice I don't have the uh, question mark there. I just have a select selection. So you'll notice it selects that that one uh, contiguous region, which is the same as hitting control A, which I just did there. So now how do you figure out uh, what these ranges are? Now I'm going to go ahead and walk through my code here. It's going to actually kick out these variables, which is nice. Um, it's going to select this as a current region. Um, we can do a couple things. We can go RNG. Uh, we're going to go range row is equal to RNG.rows.count. Okay, well, that is great. Um, but that is actually only going to give us, when we highlight over it, that's going to give us 25. But we're actually not at 25. So this is a, this is a good case for using the Excel up option because you'll notice the Excel up does give us 29 um, and this range row count does not. Um, and so what we would do in this case is we would literally come in here and we would go RNG. Uh, we would actually, what we'd have to do is we'd have to figure out where that uh, column, that region starts. Um, and so Essentially, how that works is you're going to go RNG dot row Let's see RNG dot So you're going to go RNG Start row. We're going to call it strw is equal to rng dot row, and that will give us that gives us four. So it starts in row four. Then you add the two together, and then you get end row erw is equal to rnrw plus strw, and that gives you your end row for uh, finding the end of this, uh, which gives us 29, which is exactly what we're looking for. Um, so let's look, let's spend a little time on these ranges. Uh, these ranges, what's cool about ranges is you can actually, they, essentially they are um, a, think of them like a little worksheet within a, um, within a sheet. And so if I go range, this in our immediate window. So if, now I've got my range declared. Now I couldn't do this if I hadn't run these two lines of code, but I can now. So I'm going to go range.cells. I'm going to go 1, 1. Let's go 1, 2. Dot select. When I hit enter, it's going to give me, essentially within that range, it's going to give me the first row, second column, and you'll notice that it did. 
Um, typically what I like to do on these ranges is I will either throw them in an array or I'll throw them in a for loop and that for loop just to loop through each each um, section. Um, and so we're going to kind of what we're going to do right now is we're going to end that end this session with with that one piece. Um, and that is we're going to go for each RW in RNG and RW is the basically the lower level or each cell. Next, we're going to go w dot select and now typically I don't use select. I did get a comment this week on my on one of my views of hey why you're using select and there's issues with that. Uh, typically um, I don't use select just because it, it just causes too much overhead but it is really nice when you're learning code because um, you do actually learn and you're able to see what the code does and I can't tell you how many times that I've gotten out of my out of issues um, because I have come in and use select and I'm actually pulling what I think I'm pulling from is actually what I'm not pulling from and so that's kind of a a live view a live shot of quite a few ways how to use the find last row let's make sure we covered all of our bases we did do XL up and down current region and used range um, and then we did do uh, finding the last row in a range which is a little bit more complicated um, but again, range is probably, if you're going to be using it that way, you're probably a little bit more advanced. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed.